Hi, hello everyone. My name is Tomislav Sokolic. I'm the ecosystem and channel manager of the company called PriceFX. I'm here with a, co a good colleague. I will let Jose let you introduce yourself. So I'm Jose Redondo. I work for a company called Owen Illinois. We're doing glass bottles. Um, we just implemented PriceFX and we've also since more than 10 years, I think, um, uh, with SAP, uh, with the C4C, with uh, HANA, etc. And uh, I'm here to talk about the experience, which has been very good so far. So happy, yeah, happy to, to discuss this. Excellent. Uh, I've been in the enterprise software world for 15, 16 years. I've been around SAP technology and now working for PriceFX, looking from different angle. And I understand you have been in the pricing world for 20 plus years, uh, working in marketing and everything. And now you have the global pricing uh, pricing leader position at the OMS Illinois. Um, so I'm interesting what your thoughts are, how things have been moving and changing throughout this, throughout this time. It, pricing is part of marketing and part of strategy. So uh, the more innovative, the faster you are to market, mm -hmm. that gives you really a competitive advantage. So flexibility and speed are key. And that's one of the things that we liked uh, in PriceFX. Okay. And, and that an example is the implementation that we did in, uh, in five months, basically. In five months? Yeah. But ONC Illinois, as a, as a large organization, you know, the Fortune 500 and everything, you, it's also an S SAP customer, mm -hmm. as I said, more than a decade. Yeah. Um, and you use SAP in the back office, you use SAP also in the front office, uh, you know, also from por C4 portfolio. And uh, now with this PriceFX integration, how is that working in a daily, uh, in a d on a daily basis? So the the idea is to make life easy for for the sales reps, okay. and and so wha what we're doing is we're connecting um, PriceFX with C4C. Okay. So when the sales rep is in C4C in the CRM, he can go directly in a seamless way I into PriceFX and okay. do all the quotation, the pricing uh, in there. And that's that's super important that 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 experience is optimized, okay. and that's why it's very good that price of fix is integrated with the, with okay. the C4C and with ACP. And and from your business point of view, because you're running the the LOB, uh, the pricing LOB, uh, what are the main changes that you can now implement, or uh, new business models, or new ideas that you can implement in your in your in your? So what we're doing now, and that's why we have uh, picked uh, price of fix, it's we're implementing. Um, value-based pricing, okay. we're starting in Europe and then we're rolling this out in the other regions. And that's a big change for, for the culture because okay. it's rethinking the way we, we, we package the, our value mm -hmm. to the customers and how we're presenting and how we differentiate in the market. And, and for that we need to review the processes and of course we need to have the best tools available. I understand. Because it's a lot of decisions, a lot of data to manage sure. and uh, I understand work very well. And when it comes to pricing in itself, uh, as pricing as business, pricing as a concept, pricing as an idea, uh, where does it, where does it begin? Where does it end? Uh, how, how is it evolving? I mean, is there like an end to this thing at one certain point? Never ends. You know, it's like marketing or value proposition is, is never ending. It's always, you know, depending on the market evolution, the competition. And if you are fast and flexible, that gives mm -hmm. you a competitive advantage okay. because you can move faster into niches and you can differentiate faster. Maybe, maybe one more question. Um, I've heard that pricing initiatives that the company usually does are affected by some, something or someone, like whether from external factors, whether from internal factors, whether from end consumer expectations. What it is that you think for Owens Illinois, so like the, glo the global producer of, of, of bottles and packaging, what is the most important factor that is driving uh, pricing excellence? There is a, a number of, of elements, uh, and one of them is of course that uh, optimizing the, the sales rep experience. Okay. Uh, it's capturing all the information that we can provide to the sales rep when they prepare the negotiations or when they negotiate. Um, it's, it's tracking you know, the market evolution, the trends. Um, and we this is what connects you know, pricing with strategy, with marketing, with value proposition, with segmentation. And all of these are buzzwords, but sure. at the end of the day, when you need to give a price, when you need to negotiate, you need to have all this information in the most sensible way. Sure. And, and that's what we have done. Okay, and maybe similar question. We hear about AI and machine learning mm -hmm. uh, quite often, uh, especially in the pricing world. Uh, what is your take on it? Uh, do you see that it can really improve mm -hmm. things so much, or is it something that we still need to evaluate and, and, and kind of? My first project in AI, I think, was in '98. Okay. Um, we used to call it neural networks at the time. Okay. And I think it's very useful in some of the areas, uh, but it can be also 
a bit scary if we don't understand what's behind. So I think it's one of these things, AI, is that it's very uh, practical in some of, of the areas and they need to be understood, uh, but it's not the solution for everything. It's not like you press a button and you have your solution and everything is perfect. Because if you give a price and somebody says, yeah, but can you explain me that price? And you say it's coming from uh, AI. And then sure. you say, yeah, but can you explain me that? Yes. So that's why it, it's a great tool and I love it. And uh, But we need to use it well. Need to use it well. Okay. Any Anything else that's, that you would like to share? I mean, we are here in no, Barcelona. I'm There's very excited. Have you seen the agenda of the event? It's, it's sure. quite packed. There are a lot of, lot of new things that SAP is coming with. No, it's very exciting and it's uh, very lively. Uh, it's amazing. Already at the airport, it was full of people. Sure. You see uh, SAP everywhere. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of energy and I love it. Yes. Okay. Well, Hosen, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for the discussion so and enjoy the event. Thanks.